Okay, so what's up, y'all? It's your girl T, and I'm back with another freaking video. I was doing my. I know y'all haven't seen my face since 2019, and y'all might feel some type of way about that. Don't hold it to me. Um, I already kind of made an intro to this video, and I might keep it if it sounds good, but I might not, because y'all been telling me that my sound on my phone is trash, and I'm listening to y'all. I appreciate y'all honesty and everything, so thanks for keeping it real. The lighting that I'm using is natural sunlight. Shout out to my boyfriend. He suggested that. Uh, my edges are not laid, y'all. This is left over from yesterday. That's how good the edge control is, even though they don't look amazing. But I did tell y'all that I got some business ideas for 2020. I am currently looking for my own vendor right now. So be on the lookout to shop with your girl. This lighting is so good. Okay, um... If you're not uh not already a part of the sweet teas, what are you waiting on? If you ain't gang you lame, go ahead and subscribe right now and hit that like button if you haven't already. This video is gonna be a what 2019 meant to me. Okay. And also what to expect in 2020 from me, my channel, my family, and business related things. I don't want this video to be too long, but y'all know me, I can talk. Hopefully, I can make it quick. Um, this whole setup is new to me. I haven't recorded a video in so long, like a sit-down video in so long. So, like, I'm kind of nervous or whatever. So, like, I hope y'all, like, don't be tripping on me in the comments. Because um, y'all used to me vlogging. Just bear with me. Okay. And this is all from the top of the dome. Like, I haven't wrote no notes or nothing like this. It's just been on my mind and on my heart because... Last year was very hard for me. Um, I might get emotional in this video. If you don't like that, just don't watch this video. It's very cringy. It might be, I don't know, because I'm a very emotional person. Um, but what 2019 meant to me, um, I'm not really good with words especially like big words like i don't know if y'all like me and y'all have to like google words out of time because i do because i be wanting to know what they mean or whatever so if i could choose a word for 2019 to describe how it was for me i would say um uh I guess I would have to say if graceful is a word, like, does that make sense? I don't know if you do. Like I told y'all, like, this not scripted, but, like, I just thought, and that's what I would say. 2019 was graceful for me because I went through so much stuff. But I made it. I made it through it. In the beginning of the year, I didn't think that I would make it. I didn't see how I would make it. Like, but I did. If you not caught up, if you're new to my channel, I can kind of give you a little rundown of things that I went through. I really still didn't, like, go into detail about it. But uh, I will right now. Okay, so, like, y'all know I have two girls um amaria is three and anna is six months now and uh, i'm a single mom and like <clears throat> for a while i was going through things by myself i mean i had my family but i was pretty much going through stuff by myself and like i was transitioning thinking that i had something that i didn't have um you know Nobody goes into, like, building a family thinking that you're going to have to do it by yourself. But for me, that's how it ended up. And, I mean, ultimately, I was okay with it. You know, I had to be okay with it because they didn't ask to be here and they need me. Um, But I say, like, 2019 was kind of traumatizing for me. Like, I went through a lot of stuff. I felt like I was battling it by myself. But obviously I wasn't because I made it through it. Like God literally was my anchor 
Like, he held me down and helped me get through a lot of stuff. Like, when I say I lost everything, y'all, I lost everything. Like, the only thing I didn't lose was my child. Like, even, like, over the past two years, like, I, I mean, I lost, like, uh, my apartment. I lost two cars. I lost my mind. I lost myself. Uh, I was lost. Um, I mean, I, um, I lost pieces of me that I didn't even know existed. But I also found new pieces to put those pieces back together. I was homeless. I was carless. I was jobless. I was pregnant with a baby. And, like, I didn't want to talk about this at the time because I never want, you never want to, like, risk your livelihood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never would have wanted to be in a position to where my kid could have got taken away from me because I wouldn't have knew how to live with myself. And a lot of people probably have things that they could say about that. But, like, I, I'm doing better now. I'm trying to, you know, make better ways to do better to not be in that position no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not in the best position now, but I'm trying. And I want to be, you know. I'm, I'm trying. So, like, that was 2019 for me. Like, I was trying so hard to not be depressed because I didn't want to be depressed. I didn't want my, she was two at the time. I didn't want Amaria to be, like, you know, feeding off my energy and, like, to be feeling bad and sad and down because of me. But it was hard to try to be positive because everything around me, was just falling apart. Like, I don't even know how I was still holding on. Like, I was falling apart, but I was holding on. Um, so I just wanna say thank you to God because if it wasn't for your grace, I would not have made it. Like, I named Anna, Anna because it means grace. And like, it means so much to me because if it wasn't for God's grace, I wouldn't even be here. I named my car that I only had for six months, Grace, but it helped me to get through the those small times to get where I am now, you know? So, like, all this stuff, it didn't break me. It broke me down, but it didn't break me into pieces to where I couldn't put them back together no more. So, like, this probably not what y'all expected. It's not what I expected either uh, from the video. But I'm trying not to go too into detail because I will start crying because I am very sensitive. But 2019 meant a lot to me. My channel grew a lot. I have built another family. I love y'all so much and I appreciate everything that y'all do. Just watching my videos, um, supporting me, reaching out to me on social media, uh, emailing me, everything that y'all do. And I appreciate y'all for being so positive because... Being in this position, it could bring so much negativity, but I literally only get negativity from people that are in my daily life. Y'all are what's up. Like, y'all are so motivational. Y'all make me so happy every time y'all come in, every time y'all share my videos or say anything to me. Y'all make me so happy because it just show me that my good heart, people see my good heart in like, that means a lot to me because that's what you want people to remember about you. Not that you was pretty, not that you was rich, but that you have a good heart. Um, So, y'all mean a lot to me in 2020. Hopefully, we can reach 50K, you know. That might be, you know, a lot. Even 25K, it don't matter as long as we keep growing. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I hope that y'all really do support my business. I do feel like this, everybody probably say this year is my year every year, but 2020, baby, but it's new numbers. We about to do big things. We, we, we setting goals and we accomplishing them all the rest of this decade, like period, for the rest of the life. Like this is the new beginning to the greatest year of your life. Like it could be, it's all up to you. So with that being said, if y'all want to see more sit down videos from me, make sure y'all 
like this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss a post from me thanks so much for watching my life is tea um i love y'all like i really do from the heart because i openly share my struggle to shine moments and i'm not even shining yet i'm still you know kind of struggling or whatever but i'm making it through it and like to see a lot of y'all out here going through the same thing as me or whatever and me sharing my journey and it's helping y'all to know that y'all can get through it it means a lot to me so i just wanted to let y'all know that it's okay to email me it's okay to dm me on instagram or contact me anytime that you need anything or you need somebody to talk to i will be there for you i will be your friend i will be whatever you need nothing outrageous but i'm saying i will be there for you because i know how it feels to feel like you don't have anybody but you got me so with that being said make sure that you become a part of this family because it's lit over here and i'll see y'all in the next video happy new year I'm so lame. But happy new year though, y'all. I love y'all so, so, so much. And I will be having some pre-recorded videos coming that I should have been edited. But if you love me, you'll watch them because it's my life. <laughs> but give me some ideas. Tell me what y'all think about other channel, channel names, or whatever. Y'all say a couple's channels. I'm all for it. But I'm trying to upgrade my content because my phone is trash. But I'm going to do it, y'all. Everything takes money. So it just takes time. So give me time. And I got y'all.